Grand Rising and happy Monday morning. Uh, this is Toby Tompkins and welcome to Monday Morning Message for Beautiful Leaders. I'm the CEO and founder of Safio Inc. Uh, thanks for joining us again. And I've been thinking about the message for this morning. And today I want to talk with you for a few moments about the topic of distraction. Um, we live in a society that is filled with attention grabbing um, phenomena. Everything from the flavors and the food that we eat, if you're a foodie like me, to the visual distractions of your community or, or, or your neighborhood. Um, certainly social media goes without saying, we, we all know these things. But why is there so much distraction in the world today? And that's because the most priceless thing that you can offer to the world is, are two things, your attention and your intention. Let's start with attention. If I can hold your attention, if I can distract you from what you're doing as a leader, as a person, um, as a member of your community, as a parent, if I can distract you and hold your attention, grab your attention, arrest you, then I can shape your intentions. And so as a leader, um, we want to be particularly careful as a beautiful leader about the distractions that we put in front of um, our lives or we will find ourselves filled with frustration, with anxiety, we will lose our way, we will lose our course. I've experienced this as an entrepreneur where you sit and you talk to this VC and that angel investor and uh, these experts and everyone will tell you, yes, this is great, but what if it were that? I've experienced it as an author when I set out first to write a book that was a general public book. It was about the traps of success. And I was told, well, as an African-American, you might wanna write a book toward African-American people. And I'm like, well, success trap is for African-American people, but it's for everybody. So you can get distracted by other people's sort of goals, ambitions, or narrative about who you are and where you're qualified to have a voice, where you're qualified to lead. And that is something that will misdirect your intentions. So paying attention to what you are distracted by and when you're easily distracted versus when you're not is critical to one of the core uh, characteristics of beautiful leaders, which is steadfast focus. In order to have a steadfast focus, you must be able to look at what is going on in the world but only give your attention and your intention to the things that are going on in the world that matter to your preferred future, okay? So today I want you to think about distraction. I want you to just take a moment each day and look at what is holding your attention. The other thing I'd like you to do, and I'll close with, is to focus on how your life might change if you could bring more stillness to every day. So for some people, that's meditation. For others, it's calm or a quiet place. For some, it's exercise. I would encourage you to start with just setting aside a time each day. And I don't mean when you go to bed, when you turn your cell phone off, completely off. Give yourself 30 minutes or 60 minutes that is distraction free. Don't take any phone calls. Don't read any emails, don't follow any tweets and see what you then begin to pay attention to. See what attempts to distract you and see what you can accomplish in that 30 to 60 minutes of your day each day. All right, thank you very much and um, have a great week. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to ask Toby at Safio and they may be considered for our upcoming Ask Toby at Safio session on Thursday. Bye-bye.